here, and God said, I want you to go here. Jonah goes, right, I'm going over here. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to Disobedience Mountain. We have several flavors of disobedience for you to sample if you would like to do so. And, and you can mix them together and swirl them to create a new flavor. I would like to recommend procrastination and pride. Come one, come all. I haven't done an infomercial yet. I haven't told you how much it costs. Today's featured flavor of disobedience. Fast forward to Jonah. Jonah, you probably think you know Jonah, and you might know Jonah. You might know Jonah fairly well. Did you know that Jonah was told by God to go to Nineveh, and so Jonah does the logical thing of not going to Nineveh and instead going to Tarshish? If this area over here is sort of the coast where Israel is, and Jonah's roughly here, Nineveh is roughly here, okay? and God said, I want you to go here. Jonah goes, right, I'm going over here. Tarshish is thought to have been perhaps even on the Atlantic coast of Spain, almost beyond the world that Jonah knew, the furthest edge of the world away from God's call on his life. Fun, right? How many of us have a call and we don't want to do it? Disobedience is fleeing the presence of God. So you hear that call, you don't want to do it, you can sit right in your chair and flee from the presence of God. Go back to the house of the Lord, go back to the call of the Lord, return, and he will return to you. Disobedience is not irrecoverable.